Hello, 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 and welcome back to another trek through the dungeon. This time I'll be bringing you Whippet, the Spriggan Berserker. Uh, mostly because I I still feel like I didn't give that a very good uh, showing last time, and I'd like to do a better job of it now. Um, key facts are gonna be uh, what the hell. No, fighting is going to accelerate very slow, actually, for whip it. Uh, dodging is my only defense. Focus short blades until I have uh, a real weapon. And then we'll focus my real weapon. Damage is more important than anything else. Come here. Because I might stab you. Okay. Oh, I'm already worshipping Trog, so I can already start uh, sacrificing every creature I find without exception. Uh, berserk may seem like that was a hasty berserk, but I did not want to die to those bats. And they had already got me down to half health. Alright. And the problem with being a dodge tank is all it takes is one hit to die. Mm hmm. Or two, but you know. Start shooting. Kill him. I do want my short. I do actually want my short blades to be fairly well trained for this run. I wonder if throwing cross trains with slings. If so, that would be a natural early game skill to pick up. Not just for darts, mind you. Just in general. Um since it, it also encompasses things like needles and all uh, and therefore poison needles which can be a great source of DPS early on I do love that you can train a skill without using the skill it's very helpful okay so uh, continuing the actually this has been a very easy start honestly no no challenging situation no challenging decisions no tough situations I don't think I found any food, but and as you all will have noticed, I uh I like my food. Um, so it's come to my attention that slings benefit from dexterity a lot. So I have no compunction about really picking up a bunch of uh dexterity buffs from now on. I'm gonna want some strength buffs eventually because of my personal taste for picking up lots of stones. I'm not playing properly. I'm playing the way I would play, but the thing is, if I... Let's worry about that after level 8 or 9 or something, you know. Not right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have Trog's Hand, which is possibly the most important uh, upgrade for me to get. Still no sling. Yeah. Okay. I usually melee a worm until one hit is one, until I take one hit and stop meleeing it because I I don't think I've ever died been one shotted by a worm even with a feelid but uh, with a spriggan it's an even easier decision to make since I can always just back away Actually, I'm not trying to stab anything so leave the dagger well I would rather use a lighter weapon I'm not going to train this beyond like eight or nine for short swords. It is my backup and auxiliary weapon, not my primary in any way. Uh, I have two scrolls of this, but one is a teleport. And it set me somewhere I don't even know, and I have to run from a snake. Actually, I didn't have to run from the snake. I could have just chosen not to attack at all. But now we're back to the known, so now I don't mind running from a snake. I have Trog's hand. I can't die to poison. Got him. Uh, yeah, I'll take you guys on. Come here. Nice whip. Die now. Da, 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 da. Boom, boom. Oh, there it is. Slings. Multiple slings, as a matter of fact. 
Uh, now we need to start training slings ASAP. Uh, I, it's my auxiliary weapon as well as my primary weapon. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna replace darts in my in my current setup with them. As of this early in the game, the DPS I'm getting off of my sword is just gonna straight up be better. But I can't afford to stop training them lest that changes. Uh, also, sling bullets and stones are quite common in the dungeon, so I'm gonna set those for auto pickup. One, two, three. All uh, right, switch to short sword and finish the job. Boom. Boom. The goal is ultimately to use Trog's gifting capacity to stay fully topped up in stones, preferably exploding in awesome stones as opposed to just the more generic kind or sling bullets or you know whatever version of stone we're using for the day. Quiver me the sling bullets for the moment. Next floor, please. Uh, Jessica. Oh wow, you die like a bitch. Uh, oh, this is gonna be painful. Get out of vision first. Put on regen MR second. Stay out of vision. Wait for the inevitable arrival of the priest and stone him to death. <laughs> Stoning a priest, that's something you don't see very often. It's usually the other way around. In Soviet, not in Soviet Russia. In ancient Egypt, not Egypt, where was it? Armenia? In ancient Armenia, priest stones you. Uh, let's let's keep doing this thing. That was got plenty of food. Go ahead and eat your bread ration. There's literally no reason to hoard food as a sprig, honestly. It's not like uh, it's ever going to be a bad idea to eat food now that you would rather have eaten later, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm running blind. Uh, whip out the sword, please. Sack these guys. It only takes a second. And whip out the sling and continue your work. There we go. Notice how when I was scared and in threat uh, and under threat, I mentally reverted to using my melee weapon because in my mind it's, I still feel like that does more damage. Probably not true. Um. Come on, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, he is taking some damage with sling, sling attacks, and if he's taking some damage faster than his regeneration, he can be killed. I need to learn whether or not I can throw slingshots while berserk. What did he just do? Looks like he disappeared. Which means he may have fallen into a shaft somewhere. Nope, he went back. Dick. He has a wand, apparently. Not sure which wand. Judging by the fact that I resisted it, it's probably a slowing or paralyze or something. I don't know. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if Berserk lets me stone, so switch. I made a big mistake. I tried to approach him afterwards. Get ready for death, my foot bro. By the time you catch me, you'll never catch me. Spriggan speed is OP. Oh, it was a wand of teleport. He zapped it. It said it. I, I resisted. He must have zapped it on himself second. That's why there's two zaps, to get out of trouble. And it may be out of ammo now, which would explain why he didn't uh, try it a third time. That would be my assumption. Though it's probably worth confirming. If I think there's no ammo, it's probably worth confirming, just to be sure, so that I don't use it in an, emer in an emergency. But I'd rather not waste a charge. I will use an ID scroll on it, is what I'll do. Come to me, tell me your name. I've got to give you a world of pain. Okay, so far, so good. 
Uh, let us continue in this vein. Uh, okay, I think I got all of them. Yep, got all of them. Uh, continue sacrificing. And you'll notice that I'm picking up their slings as I go and adding them to my pile. Just testing out multiple slings. This is actually a very fortunate, fortuitous event for my slinger to come across a null fortress this early. There's a very strong possibility of finding good stuff here since so many of them utilize the same weaponry that I do. And a sling of frost is just, it's going to be a hard, a hard, uh, hard to beat a, a bleh. without knowing for sure that it's a negative or something like that all my other known slings are zero so this is just this adds so much dps because unless you resist cold it's a cold attack in addition to a sling attack suck my decks baby Oh, come at me, bros. Spring and speed, man. Spring and speed plus ranged weapon makes you virtually invincible. Against melee attacks, certainly. There's a reason why, for the longest time after I got done playing Troll Berserker, when I began, when I was first learning the game, Troll Berserker was my race class of choice, since they always made it out of the, uh, the earliest stages of the game, and I actually got to see some of the later content. Well, after that, uh, I started playing Spriggan, Berser uh, Spriggan Wizards, and the reason I didn't realize at the time, the reason I did was because Spriggan Speed had much the same effect that I could survive much longer, and I became used to the idea that all enemies in the game are impossibly powerful and will kill you in one shot, which was not a bad lesson to learn, because then when I learned, oh, actually, Characters are much stronger than that, and or you know, player characters are much stronger than that, and can get away with a lot more. I was already well trained in how to be a cautious wizard, which is the more important lesson to learn. Now, if only somebody had told me how. I, ah, run, 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 run! Boom, 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 boom. Okay, down you get. Boom, 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 boom. So, like I said, it's it was very fortuitous for me to run into this mini fort. Because, literally, I mean, look, I have like 170 ammo now. And while ammo generally in my experiments to build the instinct, uh, in my experiments, ammo was not nearly that, as big a problem with stones as was with uh, air arrows. Um, it still is an irritation uh, for somebody like me who hates to ever use any items, period. And so this was a, this was a huge... This is a huge bolus. I may never. No, I may actually turn off, or at the very least, turn down short blades training. I would rather have a little bit more health or a little bit more defense. In this case, I would opt for defense first, honestly, uh, just because I can. I can get it to useful levels faster than I can get. Uh, I mean, look, I have evade twenty. Adding on top of that is going to make me nigh untouchable by these early game pitiful attacks. And while adding a little bit extra health is nice, in my experiments, the time it takes to get four to six extra health out of fighting, you want to turn it on certainly, but I would wait until just about the a shallow lair level of height, not a deep lair. Alright, uh, RJ, nothing happens. RA, fearsome visage, RH. Nothing happened when I tried to ID an amulet, so it's not an amulet ID. Try a recharge scroll. It is a recharge scroll that recharged my wand. Excellent. L. Magic mapping. M. Fog. R. Uh, this will be ID or enchant armor. Let's vote for ID. It is. Amulet of conservation is a welcome find. Please put it on. Enchant weapon. Excellent. Uh, this is going to be enchant armor. I'm not wearing any. The animal skin doesn't count, but I have nothing else to wear. Why am I wearing an animal skin anyway? I'm not trying to train leather work or anything. Although since I'm... Ha, actually, it's a plus one now, isn't it? <laughs> hmm, pardon me. Since I am uh, playing Trog, Majory is out of the... And Majory is out of the question. 
I might actually consider learning some heavier armor skills to down the road. But that's so far down the road. I mean, Spriggans don't exactly have armor bonuses. It's minus three to armor, right? Yeah, minus three to armor. Well, now that I know this is a plus one, plus one, well, not plus one. Now that I've added plus one, plus one to whatever the base value of the Frost Sling was, I'm even less likely to switch it up. Uh, and also, I, I, I don't feel like I, I have a need to either, just from a more practical point of view. I have been using it without feeling the pinch or any regret. I want my sling bullet back. Give me my sling bullet back. Boom. Uh... Man, the mulch the mulching has gotten even better or er, less likely than it used to be for these I remember a time where pretty much every sling bullet would mulch. Maybe it was just my bad luck back then, but it feels great now. Uh drop a short sword and drop a couple of these zero zero slings. That's my baseline and I can probably do better. Re I uh retitle frost sling as W and get back to work. Right, and by the time I hit places where enemies are even less likely to give me increased ammo for my sling. Okay, I found out what that was, and it was not very good, so we'll ditch it. You can't become invisible to me. I'm a spriggan. All you can do is die. Oh, whoa, 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 that looked like a sewer. Go straight for the sewer. Do not pass go. Collect 200 if you have 200, but, you know, don't pass go. Eat the bread ration before going in. Just so that you're well set up for hunger. You can berserk once or twice. In we go. As long as I'm not shooting directly towards the water, I should be okay. Alright. Cool. That went pretty well. Let's try the other side. Again. I'm trying to avoid shooting my stones directly towards the water. I have enough sling bullets and stones as backup to to handle not being able to collect my ammo after I'm done with the folly. Now, as a rule of thumb, I have found potions found in the sewers tend to be good potions. Healing, heal wounds, and restore especially. So, inscribe sewer onto these potions in case I ever find myself in a situation where I need to test them. Uh, is there a way across? There is a way across. I don't have to leave yet. That stone will probably make it all the way to the other side. Yep. I'd rather avoid losing all my stones or my sling bullets to water and I can get back across if things go south which I will do now because things are in the process of going south why would you shoot at that guy? for the love of god shoot this guy first oh awesome okay yeah I forgot that because I'm using the sling and not the stones of awesomeness uh, even my stones are going to have the frost effect on them, which is great. Gather all my sling bullets up. Didn't even see that guy. Alright, how's Trog feeling about me now? Five stars? Excellent. 
I haven't even gotten started and I'm already at full piety. That's the beauty of starting with Trog. He, it's very easy to gain piety, and I guess as a Spriggan it's even easier, since you're not using, uh, if you're even a marginally intelligent player, you're not berserking very much. Not because it's unintelligent to berserk, I should clarify that. Not because it's unintelligent to berserk, but because a marginally intelligent player will leverage Spriggan speed a lot more, and that will get you out of situations that a less experienced player would be tempted to berserk in. Yeah, I, I, I have enough of the these potions that it's worth testing one of them. It was in fact the heal wounds. And I'm just going to take this falchion with me as opposed to a dagger. Well, I guess a dagger of venom is its own reward. In any event, uh, if you want melee DPS, that can be helpful. I'm poisoned, so regen MR is a must. And immediately start playing the game. Back them away into a, a line and, and poke them to death. It isn't actually a must. It's just that if I got poisoned once, I was assuming I'd get poisoned again. Glowing Saber of God, eh? Well, there's always a first time. Zero four Saber of Venom. Trog, you just made my day. Uh, ditch the dagger. Uh, the DPS of a weapon like this is going to be way better. Also, ditch the uncursed sling, because at this point, the odds of it being better than 3-1 without any enchantment and having been found early in the dungeon is remote. Pick up a giant, giant bunch of these potions. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and test Quaff F. It was in fact curing, which means D is almost certainly restore abilities. It has been inscribed with the sewer branch, so I will know that to test it first later. Uh, I think we're good here. How are we doing for poison needles? We have enough poison needles that I'll never use them and eventually drop them as a stack, so I'm not going to carry these all out of the dungeon with me. Out to the dungeon with me. Very eventful sewer. My evade is going up very slowly, but it is going up. Slings are going up much more appreciably quickly, which is good. Uh, we're going to switch over to fighting training now. It's going to take a long time, but that's kind of the point. See, like, there, for example, the first arrow missed, the second arrow hit. If the first arrow had hit and the second arrow had hit, fighting would not have been any use. I need a lot more fighting to turn that into three hits instead of two, uh, two than I needed uh, dodging skill, and dodging skill comes a lot faster. So early game, I'm... Man, I'm still on dungeon floor five. It just feels like I'm a lot deeper. I really can't afford to train dodging first and a little while longer uh, before switching on fighting. But whatever. Decision's done, and I'm not just going to swap around. It, as much as I've built the instinct on this, I haven't exactly... I haven't gotten set in my ways yet. I could... I could be open to new ways of doing things. I'm going to avoid those random random weapons that aren't my primary stats right now. Because a weapon of distortion is all, it, is all it would take to end my game. And at this point it's an unnecessary risk. Since I have a satisfactory saber and a satisfactory uh, sling. And I'm going to be getting god-gifted superior options by the by. ID the amulet, stasis, ID a potion, and that's all we got, okay. Come after me, bros. If I can take these guys down before the priest shows up. Excellent, excellent. My mind slave. Uh, no, 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 don't melee a fucking sky thingy. Sky Beast, right? Not Sky Dragon. Yeah, Sky Beast. It's so nice to be able to outrun everything that moves and a few th and everything that doesn't at the same time. What the hell? Oh, I'm confused. Didn't notice that it happened. I mean, until he hit me once, I wasn't about to cure out of it. That way my cure would have given me some health back also. And given me more options. 
man, that that one stack of sling bullets that I got way back when is still lasting me this deep. It's kind of awesome. La 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 la. Hey, come after me. La 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 la. Ho ho ho. La 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 la. Uh, let's do fashion of protection. Jesus, we chunked those down fast. In fact, yeah, you died in one hit, huh? Uh, just because I'm feeling suicidal. Come at me, Goliath Beetle. Yeah, that was nice. Also, the number of stones I would have mulched in order to get through him was kind of high. New wand, we need to test it, but first, let us laugh at the fact that you cannot eat... Oh, you can eat sling bullets, huh? You cannot eat stones! Uh... Good, I can outrun a centaur. Let's see what this new wand does. Slowing. I, know, I can definitely outrun a centaur. Of course, I can outshoot a centaur, so that that's there too. And it's like David versus Goliath, except David is a kobold and not a prophet. Oh shit. Okay, the frost is going to work really well against the crimson imp, actually. All it's going to take is one, maybe two good hits, and he'll go down. And I have hundreds of stones, so I'm not worried about running out of ammo. Dick. Gotcha. I'll just take my piety now instead of saving it for later. I'm in no mood to play the game properly. Uh Scorpion. So, a big part of the strategy that I'm employing here, uh, though it may not appear that I'm employing any strategy, is, uh, is the liberal use of stones. And there are two reasons I'm able to get away with that. Firstly, because stones themselves are actually quite, quite common. And if you've picked an ammo god, uh, or a god that will give you ammo, um, be it Okuwaru, or I don't think Machleb does, uh, but Trog obviously does. Uh, you don't even you have an auxiliary source of weapons that's almost proportional to how much uh, how much f combat you get into, and therefore how many you use. That's the first thing. The second thing is because I'm doing so well you're not seeing me dip into my other tricks that are available but I'm capable of summoning brothers in arms don't forget that which means at any point I can have a fully quote-unquote trained melee berserked fatty be it a troll or a uh, like ogre or something like that at, an, uh, at my side to help me escape from an enemy to help me take down an enemy that requires more than than stones can do. Uh, I'm not worried about preserving my piety because as you see I'm gaining piety about 10 times faster than I know what to do with. Um, yeah, so that's basically the strategy that's the core of the strategy being employed now. Oh, you know what would be nice is an amulet of the guardian or whatever that's called. Uh, Guardian Shield, which turns your MP into artificial health, because I'm not using my MP, like, at all. Barring an evocable staff of some kind, I don't think I will this game. And that's, as a Spriggan, such an important trait. I think you get plus 2 or plus 3 MP per, per level up or something like that off of the baseline. So, 
I have as much MP. If you could add my MP directly to my health, that alone would make me a significantly safer. And realize that's not how it works. In fact, you get more than one HP per point of MP. I don't know the exact ratio, but it's better than one to one. Yeah, I think I could really use this. Well, there's been a surprisingly small amount of armor so far in the game. Without Notice how long it took to kill that one skele or skeleton. Without the cold damage going through, I do, I'll, I do significantly less DPS. Or DPR, I guess, damage per round. No, DPS is more accurate. We, there's not a round system in this game. Hmm. So, fighting, 4.2. Benefit to health, plus 3-ish, give or take. Honestly, most of that probably came from leveling up anyway. Come with me, bro. Barring a distortion weapon or something horrific, that one hit wasn't going to do enough damage to really scare me. And you know, sometimes Crawl just likes to fuck you and it sends you that kind of thing. Uh, let's drop something. What am I carrying that I can afford to drop? How about 98 of my stones? <laughs> Uh, but actually what I'm going to do is read the remove curse and then test quaff a potion. No, no, ID, ID a few potions. Potion of mutation. Potion of resistance. Let's go ahead and ditch the potion of mutations and ditch this. Let's ID another potion. Potion of poison. Uh, hell, why not? Another potion. Potion of restore abilities. Wait, that's restore abilities? What the hell do I have five of then? Well, I've got to find out what they gave me so much of in the sewer. It might just be clear water, honestly. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's drink it. Agility. Wow. That's actually very helpful since that boosts my decks even further. That looks like a groom. That looks like a hunting pack with groom behind it. Sure enough, groom is behind it. Let's pull all of his dogs upstairs first, though. The dogs are keeping pace with me just fine. That was unexpected and unwanted. So what we need to do is find a one-tile thin hallway to use against them. And that's probably going to mean up going upstairs. So come upstairs. Again, not this ideal situation that I had envisioned, but... Alright, fire a sling bullet at the lead dog. That failed. Teleport. Quaff the heal wounds. Okay. I believe I teleported to the hallway above them. They are in the lower hallway. So... Get me here. There's one of them. Okay. That's all? Seriously? Where the hell the rest of you go? No, you dogs are out. Who let the dogs out? Groom, groom, groom. All right, and that should about do it. There's probably a third one somewhere, and I probably don't care. All right, back down to groom. There's still one dog at large, probably, um, which is not a big deal. Okay, he's almost dead. If he gives me a clear shot, I will take it. There we go, he's down. And you, my friend, are going to face a saber of poison, which will kill you with expeditious speed. Alright, I normally wouldn't bother, but artifacts are artifacts, and that's important. So let's ID my artifact. Spriggan's Peril. Well, being a Spriggan, I'm kind of glad that I uh, ID'd this. Zero minus five is bad. Freeze is good. Evocable blink is excellent. 
I'm actually probably going to hang on to this for the moment, maybe uh, study it a little bit more later, but I feel like I should know about this weapon, but I don't. I don't know what the Captain's Cutlass does, so let's look it up. No matching items found, huh? 6-7 Captain's Cutlass is an unranned art. I don't know what, what it does, so let us... Again, take the moment to actually look it up properly. Crawl. Captain's. Cutlass. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. Blah, blah, 6, 7, speed branded, special minimum base delay, 50%, 30% with speed brand. In the hands of a skilled short blade specialist is as good as any quick blade, if not better. Base damage is higher than all short blade, other short blades while benefiting from extremely fast attack speed, even without additional brand. Can deal both in open combat and when stabbing. Give it especially with high AC targets in the late game. All at once, first blade, though, unlike a quick blade, will chop off hydra sets. Holy crap! The infamous weapon was used by a vile pirate captain to slaughter countless innocents. Finally, he met this name when a crack and swallowed a super full crew. Thought to be lost forever, but now you have proof of contrary in your hands. Excellent. Well, uh, clearly I no longer need my saber of venom. Falchion of protection I'll hang on to on the off chance that the reason I'm using it is its property until I decide I don't want it anymore. Uh, the captain's cutlass is a long blade. So let's train long blades for a little while. Wait, is it a long blade? I D. No, it's a short blade. In fact, the falchion is probably a long blade. It is. You know, I do stupid things sometimes, and that was clearly one of them. So yeah, if I want it for its property, I'll hang on to it. But otherwise, I won't. What about this one? Okay, this was a short blade. Good. Well, actually, hang on to that too. There's no. I'm not really at a uh, item carrying capacity limit or anything. I will, however, cross train my long blade or my continue training my short blades a little bit more because Captain's Cutlass as an unranned art is enough to significantly change my game strategy. Um, if it is even half as good as it sounds like it is, but against enemies like this, I would much rather take them down from range. In short, I now have a melee option that is not suicidal. Actually, it's still suicidal. I mean, without... Oh, you know what? I'd, my freeze is going to be useless against you, but my captain's cutlass... Yeah, that was pretty effective, actually. It's a second option. It's not the best option, but it's an option. Okay, I'm going to get stuck in this fight one way or the other. So let's try it with the cutlass and see what happens. This is a plus six to hit, so its accuracy is going to be excellent. Compared to, you know, throwing rocks at near melee range with no bonus. Boom, got them all. Yay! You may notice that I'm actually leaving behind books now. The reason is not that I intend to use them later. It's just that my piety is so high that I don't get very much out of blowing them up. Okay, gotcha. And uh, we'll try and take you down as well. I get like four attacks for every one he gets. It's kind of great. Heal up. Drop half my stones before I go in. And the reason I'm doing that is specifically because I can't carry stuff out as easily otherwise. Uh, You know what? Let's try and see who comes without me having to aggro anything else. There. Places like this have a hidden property that the game doesn't tell you about called noise, um, indicating how quiet it is. And they tend to be so quiet that the echoing footsteps will trigger enemies one at a time if you're super stealthy and quiet. Uh, or, you know, if you're noisy, you'll it'll echo and echo and echo and the entire hall will wake up. So, I don't even have to shout. If I had shouted once, there's a good chance I would be seeing enemies from halfway across the crypt. This is actually a very easy crypt, too. Let's use the arrow trap to our advantage, shall we? Or just kill everybody with my captain's cutlass. 
Uh, yeah, why not? Remove curse is all I need to make the mummies meaningless. Jesus, this is so fast, the damage I can get out. Uh, is this cursed on? No, neither is my sling. Excellent. Fire sling bullets, or stones, or whatever. To soften them up for the captain's crunch. I'm surprised that I got an unranned art as a god gift, honestly. I don't... I mean, I'm sure it's happened before, but I can't recall that happening any time in recent memory for me. Of course, I haven't played this game very much. I've been so busy with Nemoria, with School, with Risk of Rain, with... Uh, I actually begun to play StarCraft 2 versus uh, one of my cousins who's quite good at it, actually. Um, you know, I've had other things on my plate. And then, of course, interviews all of December and uh, holidays with my folks. So it's kind of nice, actually, to be able to get back to some crawling. Perfect. I have the door closed, or the hallway blocked. They can all come to me and die one at a time. So you'll notice that my health is 52, but most of that gain is not from the fighting levels, but from the leveling up. I stand by my, my earlier statement that fighting while necessary is also not very helpful early on. It takes a long time for its benefits to really start to show. Let's just test quaff a few of these potions, shall we? Nice. Gain dex. Paralysis. Gain int. Really? Two of the more valuable potions the game has to offer, and I just happen to have both of them. This is not an unlucky start, I'll tell you that right now. Alright, let us remove curse on everything. Let us... Uh, I should have wielded a cursed weapon. Well, since the Falchion of Protection is cursed now, I'm just going to drop it. It's not going to be worth it as a switch weapon for the sake of 5 AC anymore. Pick up my fallen stones. Alright. Wield the sling of. I don't know if I want to keep enchanting the sling of frost higher, honestly. It's pretty good as is, and. Oh, perfect! Melee. Melee. <laughs> okay, I love this weapon. Um, I don't know how high I need to get this to min delay, so I'm assuming it's standard for a saber, which is going to be at the very least 10. I don't know how high you have to get. You have to really go. You're, but oh no no no! Didn't it say that you can do it at a lower level with the captain's cutlass? Why is it not written here? What minimum delay is reached at? It should totally be. But anyway, base attack delay is 120. So as a rule of thumb, that's going to be level 12, I guess. Half that plus six. I don't remember. I just don't remember. Well, at extremely fast, I can afford to put experience into more important things right now, which is defense. I shouldn't triple train, but... Well, I said I shouldn't, I won't. Slings and dodging. Ooh, artifact ring. Sustain abilities at the cost of all of my dexterity. So the artifact was just there to make it worse than an ordinary ring of sustain abilities, huh? Yeah, you can ignore stones from now on. You clearly are overweight. Uh, in fact, why don't you go ahead and drop a stack of 125 stones right here, so that you be the way I see it is you effectively are hoovering the dungeon up as you go and gathering everything into one place. I want to ID this last potion. Okay, good. I'm glad I ID'd it. It's a very good one. Boom. Wait, why am I milling this guy? Oh my god, I'm suicidal. And why isn't it following me? You may have one eye, but are you retarded? I was doing better with melee than I was when I attacked him. Regen MR will get me to a point that I can begin to poke him again. I'll just go around him and take him down. 
So that was incredibly stupid of me. The fact that I lived at all is a testament to the fact that uh, I have layers upon layers of defense built into my character. Alright, whip out the sling. Are you using sling bullets? Wait, wh what do you use that wand on? Blah 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 blah. Zaps a wand you resist. He used it on me. Okay. Regen MR. You know what? Fuck this shit. Let's just get out of here in Brothers in Arms. Alright, I mean it cost me a little bit of piety, but I mean I'm playing with fire at this point. There's no need to not just win. Uh boom 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 boom. It's like in Star Trek where they always say we'll beam out at the first sign of trouble and they never do. Uh I keep saying I'll berserk at the first sign of trouble or I'll whatever at the first sign of trouble and I never do. Ah, oh, what the hell was that? It hurt like a bitch. Regen MR. Wait for him to come around the corner and then... Take out a manticore in melee. This is actually beginning to add up in terms of cost of health... Or not health, piety to me. No, it's not. Stop talking. You don't know what you're talking about. It's not really costing me that much health. I mean, it is. Co I'm sorry, piety. It is costing me piety, but the amount is so trivial it wouldn't even register on my radar if I was a little bit less of a conservationist who hates to see anything get wasted ever. Problem is, that kind of attitude in a game like this will get you wasted. See, because I'm stealthy enough, he hadn't seen where I was. I just walked around in a circle until I was ready to shoot him. Captain's Cutlass, baby. We'll cut your lass up. Okay, floor complete. Next floor, this looks like the lair. Uh, let's pull a crocodile and then get out of here. Captain's Cutlass. Uh, actually, if it's two yaks that come with me, I won't have any way to kite them, so let's back out. Sling of Frost, fire on the ogre. Think we got it? We got it, good. Whip out the sword. Take out the enemies who are dumb enough to come near me. Okay, we've got a kobold with curari needles. That's very scary. Let's make sure that he has to come much, much closer to use his stuff. Melee him. Melee them. You know what? Pull. Pull up. The bats didn't come. Damn it. Pull. Take you guys down. I really want to sack those corpses before the time's up. Hey, 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 where do you think you're going? Oi! Die. Alright. Uh, ID, 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 the new potion. I'm, con I'm, I'm, the reason I'm being so careful about potions now is because if it's a cure mutation, it actually is going to cost me a lot. Like, not a lot, it's going to cost me a dexterity point to use casually. And while I'm okay with losing that dexterity point, because as good as a mutation as dex plus one is, it's not critical or anything. Same with n plus one. Um, I would rather knowingly make the choice or save a cure mutation potion for later, since I have yet to find any means of avoiding mutation, and I quite possibly in the end game going to be preferring other options for my amulet slot. Uh, let's fire on the ogre, just to draw him out. You know, I would really like to have some ammo that wasn't just generic rocks.
because I have Sprig and Speed, I can actually ch Oh! Poison Sling Ball. I ask and you deliver. Trog, you're my kind of deity. Uh, whip out. Just ordinary stones should do the trick just fine against this guy. Because I've been killing them since well before this floor. Uh, Captain's Cutlass here for sure. Yup, Captain's Cutlass. Oh, snap, even more ammo. Guns and ammo. Uh, why don't you go ahead and ditch a stack of something? Or, yeah, eat the strawberries, I guess. Again, remembering what I said about food, you can't really do wrong in eating all your permafood as a spriggan. Uh, yeah, this weapon is so fast that even after the yak declared his intention to retreat, I still got another turn to kick his ass. Yak ass. <laughs> Yak ass, I like it. Uh, Alright, that's. Uh, we're just going to finish clearing out this floor and then honestly probably call it the quits uh, as we have been going for how long now? It's been an hour? Just shy of an hour. It's admittedly a bit long for a video, but given how uber crappy my last one was, I kind of sort of wanted this one to show that, look, that was just a really bad day on my part, not symptomatic of me being an incompetent player. Or something worse. Uh, I want you to fire on the wizard. Actually, this is a bad place to be, period. The wizard is going to have LOS for a long time on me. And all it takes is two, maybe three smites to die. And unlike my my priest, uh, it, he doesn't lose a pip of piety every two smites or whatever. He gets to actually smite a lot more than that. Now, he doesn't smite every turn, that is true, but... Since when am I the kind of guy who gambles? Okay, correction. Since when am I the kind of guy who gambles stupidly and loses all the time? Okay, there's a lot of orc priests here, actually. Why don't you guys come out towards me? So that I can captain's cutlass you to death. Expeditiously. It's an interesting thing. Uh, because crawl takes into account time as a standardized unit, right? Uh, it's not like turn-based, where one turn, one of my turns is always the same length of time. It, it's based on what I do during that turn, right? Uh, but it doesn't feel that way because the game updates every turn. So what it feels like, what happens is the length of my turn is so much sh shorter at melee with the Captain's Cutlass than it is with... Whoa. I, you know, sometimes gods taunt you with crappy, crappy gifts. Uh, my experience with Trog has generally been that he does what I like to call primes the pump. His first gift to you is not your major class, not your major plan or desire or whatever. And after that, he starts giving you good stuff. And this has stood that test. After giving me a generic, fairly useless saber, was it, or a falchion? Uh, ever since then, he's been giving me good stuff, including an, an unrand art good enough that it changed my training pattern. And uh, following that, he's been giving me decent bullets right when I asked for them. And now a sling that is... Look look at this. Look, look, look how many turns it takes the yak that is retreating to get away. Until I start walking, at which point it starts gaining decent speed. Because my... Speed is just that good. Quit for the exploding bullets for this. I want to... There we go. That's actually a bad idea, I guess. I should save the exploding bullets for situations where hitting multiple targets is the key, with low amounts of damage being good enough, rather than hitting a high AC target for a little bit extra damage. Because exploding guarantees... Uh, I think it guarantees... Yeah, it guarantees mulching, so those are hard to keep in stock, for obvious reasons. They tend to explode. Uh, let's ditch 
the scrolls of enchant armor. We can come back for those some other time. That was painfully immolating. All right. Uh, stones, good. Not sling bullets. Eat the bread ration, just straight. Wield out the captain's cutlass and use it to cut this thing up. Ditch. Really, the problem is not anything else. The problem is here. I'll just show, put the control weight menu on so you can see it. The problem is my stones. They weigh so much, um, and my pinch penny style of play where I'm not willing to let go of even one of them, even though I guarantee you I will never run out uh, before I die. So here's what we're going to do. Enter the lair, drop a bunch of potions, not F, 5 curing and 2 heal wounds, drop me down to 5-5, five, five. and we're going to drop another set of 73 stones now that I'm getting god gifts to replace them. Anything else that needs dropping? Nope. Okay. Cool. Now we'll finish up with this floor because I wasn't actually done yet. Didn't hear no bell. Okay. Floor complete. And boom. There it is. Time of Talaire, about one hour. This was a much, much more straightforward run. Gloves and boots are not a thing, but any rings. No. Any good helmets? No. Any armor? Again, no. Just my plus one animal skin. It's about the best. So, I guess I've gotten pretty shit luck for my my uh, my tan leather. But, oh well. Considering the luck I've had everywhere else, it's hard to really complain. Uh, against Harold, we will wield the sling. I need to rename that to W and Hell. Captain's couple should be on D. Okay, so wield the sling. Fire on him repeatedly. Whoa. Okay, you have bolt of fire. You need to die faster. Uh, sling bullets, please. Excellent. Excellent. I do like the idea of leaving the sling bullets as my default, um, especially now that I'm getting god gifts. Uh, they should stay fairly well stocked. Not necessarily very well stocked, but fairly. You know, I, pr I said I was going to stop once I hit lair, and I am. I, I, I just, you know, the just one more effect is pretty strong since this character has got done so well so far. La, 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 la. But this video is already getting inordinately large, um, especially considering that I've been trying for like the five, not five minutes, but like the 20-30 minute ratio, or not ratio, range, and failing to do so. <laughs> Blast them all. So I don't. I still don't think Spriggan Berserker is a very good build. I feel like Berserker doesn't do a lot to take advantage of the Spriggan. I would rather do an Okuwaru build uh, and get, you know, many, many of the same. The thing about Berserkers is their tools, to my mind, well. Yeah, because that way I can I can do some sidelong magic as well, some utility spells. Um, the thing about Berserking Talents is they are optimal for making you survive the early game no matter how shit a hand you're dealt. But, I'm a Spriggan. I have Spriggan Speed. That is pretty much all I need to survive the early game no matter what hand I'm dealt. Drop that wand. Ooh, I got a new ring at some point. Let us test wear it first and then ID it second. Poison resist. Not terribly important, but it is important, I guess. 
actually long term it's going to be very helpful for doing one of the branch doing some of the layer branches prob one of the layer branches probably or both depending on which ones I draw I'm standing on the disturbance and nothing is coming there we go captain's cutlass this killed a kraken do you really think you you have a chance Just because I can. <clears throat> basilisk is moderately... The Basilisk misses me. After which I missed. Then I slashed him. Then he missed. Then I hit him. Then I hit him. Then he missed. Then I hit him. Then I hit him. Then he missed. I'm getting two attacks to his one. Yeah. Gotta love fast weapons. Come at me, bros. I need a narrow hallway to fight them in. This will do. Not really. Actually, I have resist poison, so they're a little more effective than rats, honestly. And they will die that way. With a little more compunction than I would have killing rats. I'm not actually going to condescend enough to pick up new unbranded stuff. I mean, the Captain's Cutlass is going to be the best DPS brand, and I have, protect I have a protection saber that I've opted against using, so clearly, clearly I'm happy with my options. Okay, one hit is all it takes for me to learn my lesson. Come at me, bro. Uh, blowgun. Knew I kept this for a reason. I mean, I could have used stones of poison, but I would rather save that for a situation where I need to make sure it hits Every, where I need to make sure every shot hits or something. This is an enemy I just need ranged poison. That's all I'm going for. Jesus. I'd forgotten how simple playing a Spriggan could be. Not easy, simple. Oh! Shafted. Need to get back up. Hydras appear at this distance, this depth, so I need to be mentally prepared. Hell, Hydras can appear higher, but... I'm used to expecting a layer 4 equals Hydra preparation. How are my wands? I still don't know what half of them are. Let's figure out what Y is. Okay, it's Polymorph? No, it's not. That guy just came from behind. Confusion, excellent. Use it to cut this guy to ribbons. If I was in the next edition, I could just train stealth, and suddenly I would be stabbing with the captain's cutlass instead of uh, merely attacking. Because stabbing as a category is no longer a thing. Hell, maybe it's worth... No, I don't have very many means of incapacitating enemies, and certainly nothing reliable. Come at me, bros. Brah! Tap fighting... Elven Cloak is better than not an Elven Cloak. Plus 2 Cloak is better than not a plus 2 Cloak. AC 6 is better than no... I forgot that I've actually been shafted. I should be trying to get back up, shouldn't I? But this is definitely a case where the shafting's biggest danger was not the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop paying attention. Okay, I lived, so we'll just finish him off now, but... That was scary. Thirty-three evade. This is quite excellent, actually. Okay, we're better. We're better now. Uh, that's going to be a hell of a mess to deal with, honestly. Let's back off. The blink frogs, in particular, are going to make one-way hallways or one-tile hallways. Uh, at best a mixed blessing and at worst a death trap, so I need to not restrict myself to such halls. You know, because what happens is you're ready to retreat and then it blinks behind you. Okay, much better. Alright, floor is cleared, let's head back up.
It's not actually cleared, but it's getting cleared, so we'll head back up. And that would have been a stab. <laughs> a gutless stab. Actually, you know what? Take that staircase upstairs. This is where I got shafted from, so it's probably worth taking an emergency staircase to get back to. Nothing happens. Brrrr! All of you idiots can die. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not something you want to run into lately. This is where having a evocable blink would have been very nice. Without that, we're going to berserk to finish this guy quickly. Uh, strength indoor dex, strength indoor dex, strength indoor dex, strength indoor dex. Dex. Technically speaking, strength strength was a very tempting option for me there, but I think that dex is still probably technically the best option. Okay, now that I'm back here with my back to the wall, I can just take you guys off one at a time. Then whip out my sling of where do you think you're going yak face. Or yak ass. Yeah, let's go with yak ass. I wonder how good I can do with the shield. Probably as a uh, spriggan, I will give me a hard time with the cutlass. Okay, now I have to not use... Plus two dex is actually very nice, because that's another evade point. Yes, and I accidentally read the... Wow, I think I got plus two to my attack. This is a 5-5 Sling of Frost. This is an excellent weapon. I'm in really good shape right now. If I, if I could stop nearly killing myself, I'd be much better off, but even with the fact that I'm constantly nearly getting myself killed, I'm in good shape. Although this is Crawl. Apart from being a Minotaur, there's no way to prevent stupidity from killing you. You can't become so powerful that stupidity can't kill you. So, eat a bread ration. Uh, let's go ahead and remove the curse on this thing right now. And see how hard it is to evoke Blink. 28% failure. Evocable Blink is an important enough tool that I want to fix that. So, for the time being, we'll lose our other defensive ability training. I think Slings may be at Mindelay already. I don't know what Mindelay on Slings is, and I need to look it up. So I'll do that later. For the moment, Evocations, Fighting. These are important skills. And Sling is probably fast enough to not really matter. Movement speed is very quick, attack speed is quite fast. Maybe it can get faster, I don't know. Versus this, which is lower than the natural minimum delay for such a weapon. Here, come on upstairs. We'll finish you off upstairs, shall we? I'm butchered by your captain. Uh, whip out the range attacks, range attacks, ID this, I don't want to lose two dex points, nope, not going to lose no two dex points, come at me bros, then I may stone you to death. Jesus. It's raining ammo. Alright, I had another potion ID, right? Alright. Come at me through the corridor. I want to get Blink down to such a low delay that I'm comfortable using it in an emergency. Or to help set myself up for a better escape. Because there's been a couple times where I've been trapped in a hallway and wished I could do that. Oh, right, I don't have it handy. To test. Evocations is already up to level 4 because I'm a Spriggan with good Evo training. We'll see just how good it is when I'm done with this floor. Not the evil skill, the the evocable 
uh, that's the snake again. Let's put a little bit of Mm hmm. Go ahead and nail you guys as well. I think that'll about do. Yep, that's all of them. Okay, and uh, just like that, we've pretty much explored the floor. So this is the floor we got shafted into. We'll just complete this and then, well, I, I apologize in advance. This video has turned uh, significantly longer than it was intended to. It's an hour and ten minutes. And... Yes, please ignore that. Uh, Rupert. Rupert, 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 Rupert. You know what? I don't remember what Mr. Murdoch can do, but I'm sure if he's anything like the real Rupert Murdoch, then we've got a problem. So let's just leave him be so that he doesn't shout at me uh, for the time being and we'll worry about how to kill him later. I'm sure it's nothing that a berserk troll can't take care of. Alright, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna throw up a do not approach order around this area. Just to avoid waking him up, let him sleep in peace. Eat that pear, drop the saber of venom, because I will never have a use for melee poison stacking, hopefully, for the rest of the game. Not when I can do it from range, certainly. Wah! Fear my mighty cutlass. Fear my cutlass. Okay, floor complete. And now, we are going to call it a game. So, uh, what have we learned from this? We've learned that slings are powerful tools that can be used to smite your enemies from range, except it's not called smiting, it's called hurling stuff at them. Uh, ooh, forgot to check this. Evocable blink is down a 9% fail. That's very respectable, and I want to do better. So, continue to, to hard train evocations, possibly all the way up to 9 or 10. It's a lot, I admit, but uh, also, I want to turn on, just in case I forget to come back here and turn it off again, which is very like me, we're going to continue to trickle into uh, dodging at the same time, just so that, you know, when I'm like, oh no, I overtrained evocations to 12, at least I was training something useful too. Uh, it's a pity that I'm a troglodyte, honestly. Uh, I If I could have done this with Okawaru, and I'm fairly sure I could, um... It would it might be a little bit you might lose once or twice to poison and carelessness since you don't have Trog's hand to bring you back from the brink and Berserk to beat out Sigmund or whatever, but the uh, but if you could spell casting, translocations, level four and level three training, I could have gotten my blink online. Uh maybe maybe repel missiles for those nasty people who throw stones at me as well. And uh Mephitic Cloud. No, Mephitic Cloud is pushing it. That's a three school tier three spell, even. But still, uh, we're still waiting on getting some decent armor and getting this character really off the ground. Uh, as of now, however, he is already very respectable, doing very well, and uh, I have no doubt that I'll be able to clear the lair. And as you all who have watched all my videos know, I consider c clearing Orc plus lair to be the poor bands I beat the game. You didn't actually win the game, don't get me wrong, but a number of builds that are not, not, I don't want to say not viable, so I'll say not very doable uh, for the long game, for the full game, can get through this build. Th things like Orc Priests and the like, Hill Orc Priests, which can do the full game, but you find yourself having to really do things that aren't priestly to, to finish it. Mm. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, you can beat the lair plus orcish mines with so many different styles and tactics. But if you try to do the whole uh, non-extended, even just three rune win game that way, you find yourself not being able to get away with those same tactics. You cannot run a uh, invisi stabber past, you know, just invisi stabbing is not going to be enough 
to get you past orc uh to get you past the whole game but it will get you through orc plus lair you can try a uh low kills no kills run maybe i'm talking out my ass maybe i'm just not good enough to do it but i have personally found that i can do a lot of variety for this early game and i enjoy key and that's part of the reason i enjoy it as much as i do so i'm about to ho i'm hoping for the auxiliary uh to success that is layer plus orc which means i got this build off the ground and uh after that it's any man's guess how far i can take it but with any luck i'll win the game um just so i don't forget what i was doing let's put the captain's cutlass back in my hand all right that's it thank you all for watching i will see you guys next time